Okay, so the three guys that just killed me on the beach, they were making a pretty big base right about here, and I died on the cliff right here, and my main base was just there in the woods. Now, the distance between our two bases is very small. Let me explain how that's important to our story. Now, in my opinion, Rust is like Monopoly. Obviously, the board isn't filled in in this example for copyright purposes, but you get the point. In Monopoly, the objective is to get as many cards as possible, therefore earning you more money and increasing your chances to win the game. These cards in Monopoly are like map squares in Rust, where the more squares you have control of, the more power you have on any given server. But what happens when you start to lose your cards? Well, you begin to lose money and eventually you lose the game. In Rust, when you lose territory, your freedom becomes compromised and eventually it's inevitable that you will get raided. So how do we prevent this from happening? Well, it's all about picking the right cards and making sure we can hold on to them. But my apologies, as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Just like in a game of Monopoly, you don't start with cards at the beginning. In Rust, you don't start with a base already built. So let me take you back to the beginning where everyone in Rust begins as a naked on the beach. Okay, super early start. Like this, this server just wiped maybe 10 seconds ago. Oh, sewer branch. That's where I'm gonna build by. Cause it's it's like close to launch, but it's not so close that I'll get like overwhelmed by clans. Good place to recycle. You know. So I set off for my target base location. Now, let me tell you why I chose this spot. I know I talked about it a little already, but here's a more detailed explanation. Launch site is a good monument for crates and components, however there tends to be big groups there frequently, meaning as a solo player I might get overwhelmed when trying to recycle. That's why I chose to be near Sewer Branch as well, because while it isn't the greatest for components, it tends to be a lot safer to recycle there because of less large groups. Thinking like this helped me pick the right card, or rather the right map square, a key to success in Rust. Also, just in case any of you guys were wondering, all of the footage you'll see in this video was recorded on my own Stevius 2 times server. It's a small map, so great FPS with a lot of action, PvP rating going on all the time. So whether you're a solo, duo, trio player, or maybe even part of a large group, you can find yourself at home on the server. All the information you'll need to know is in the description below. You can definitely expect to see me out there. We have a server in the US and also one in Europe, so most of you guys will be able to get a great connection. So anyways, back to the video, I hit some barrels, recycled the components to get a level 1 workbench up in the base, and then I headed to launch site to try to find some guns. Oh. Now I need more scrap, because I'm going to move bases. I need a level 1, a level 2, and research 5-5, five, five, and um, semi. Okay, I definitely feel like I'm explaining too much, but I need to let you guys know what I'm thinking so that my decisions don't sound stupid. Yes, I decided to change base locations even though I had just put down my starter. Everything I said about the first location was true, but I didn't account for one thing. Large groups on the eastern side of the map coming to launch site for PvP and high tier loot would cross my base, and groups around launch site going to the eastern side of the map would cross my base as well. I didn't think as a solo player that crossfire was a good thing to have, so I decided to move to a more isolated location. Still close to launch site, but also pretty close to power plant as well, and by the shore, it just felt like a safer place to live.
I had a semi-automatic rifle in my base, and on a two-time server, it isn't that hard to get scrap, so I made it my first priority to get enough to research the semi and the ammo for it. Thanks for the pod, mate! Of course, it felt nice to get some revenge on this guy. After that, I took the components and scrap I'd been hitting and brought it back to base where I researched the semi-automatic rifle, then went in the opposite direction towards power plant to see what was going on over there. What the hell? What is this guy doing? How is he not dead, dude? Oh my god. Oh, he so should have killed me there. I won't complain though. Okay, now while I'm running back to base is a really good time to address a question that probably most of you have. I'm going to make this as fast as I possibly can. If you haven't seen the last video, then skip to the point on the screen right now. If you have seen the last video and you're curious where season four went, where part two out of two went, I'll explain it right now. Pretty much the footage got corrupted, but I'm not just going to say that. I'm going to show you exactly how that looks in my files. So as you can see, 816, first off, element D, that's my hard drive, shadow play, recording software, Rust, that's the folder. So um, 816, August 16, that's when I recorded the first episode. This file right here, two hours long, 35.6 gigabytes was the majority of the first episode. And some of this stuff was was the rating that you saw later in the episode. Um, and that part where I said that uh, all my gameplay with the Guacamole Jones was corrupted, um, that's what this looks like. This MP4 file icon thing, that means it's corrupted. If I double click it, nothing happens. And if I leave it here long enough, it'll just say the file is unplayable, something like that, blah, 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 blah. Um, this one's unplayable as well. So look at the size of these files, like 32.4 gigabytes. That's almost that's almost two hours of footage completely lost. Um, but anyways, here are the raids. Here are some farming I didn't really include in the first episode. Um, and the majority of the action happened here in this bottom half of footage. Um, so if we look at some of the file sizes, 17.5 gigabytes, 31.8 gigabytes, uh, 28.1 gigabytes, 31.8 gigabytes, um, like six to eight hours of footage gone, several videos worth of, of content down the drain, no explanation, there's nothing I can do to fix it, um, and, and even more videos here that were going to be, that was going to be the, the season finale and, and videos like that, I just don't have access to the mp4 files, um, don't, please don't flood my comments trying to suggest how I can fix it, I've spent hours all over the internet um, trying to find ways to uncorrupt the footage, to convert it to a file, convert it back, all that stuff that you hear, um, and nothing has worked um it's made me switch recording uh softwares now i use plays tv and and i've i've had no problem since which is good and that's good for me good for you um but i just wanted to show this to you guys so so you don't think that i just started a season and just gave up on it that's not the case I, I don't have access to the footage to continue it um it's really frustrating um but i hope you guys understand i'm not going to try to um talk any more about this just enjoy the rest of the video
So as nighttime loomed, I ran back to my basin with some extra gear and guns in my boxes. It was safe to say that I had control of the map squares nearest to my base. However, that didn't mean much because no one had really come and tried to build in my area so far, but that would soon change. While hitting some wood for my furnaces the next day, I heard a sound. Ah, so this was the sound. It was a trio of guys in hazmat suits building a base right beside mine. I knew I had to stop it. So now our story comes full circle. A trio making a base so close to mine, just half a block away, was a serious threat. But with our bases being so close, it made it possible to maybe get back and stop them before they could finish. Now, I figured the last two guys would push me, but they didn't know where my base was, so I could use that as an advantage. With all the boxes in my base loaded with loot, I just had to throw theirs on the ground for the time being. But the base was still there, and I assumed they'd spawned back in a sleeping bag and were inside, so I had to get rid of it before they could expand. With no lock on the tool cupboard or the door of any kind, the base was mine, and I locked them both, making sure that they would never come back. So, my power remained, a threat neutralized, and the story of an extremely successful solo adventure came to an end. But, with all this extra gear, someone else hopped on, to hopefully help me spread my power to further areas of the map. His name was h June. Yeah, we got this, dude. We oh, two guys sneaking up, up on us, uh, 170. Hit him. Okay. I'm gonna just die. Fall back, fall back. Yeah. I'm running. Yeah, yeah, they're inside. They're inside the armored door right now, just peeking. <laughs> There's a guy behind you, though, 280. Not sure what he has. Hold it right there. Yeah, one's out, he's pushing me, he's now. pushing me. Okay. I think I killed him, I hit him five times. He's not he might not be dead though. There's another guy coming. Okay. He's dead? Nice. I started shooting uh handmaids at him at the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't realize I was in the bomb. <laughs> Run away. I don't know if we should go to I guess we'll go for the SAR shots, but
It was back this way, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the right. There's a rock where you can look over like the whole right side of the of launch. Mm -hmm. I think there's more people outside of launch. Yeah. Launch. Oh, no, no, no. One dead. One headshot. Yeah, hold on. Kill one. One more. I'm pushing. Hold on. Oh! oh no. Sorry, I'm alright, I'm alright. Didn't hit him. Yeah, he's right behind there. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god. They got good gear though, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. I don't have much room, but I'll loot what I can. I have space then. I can I can loot in. <laughs> nice dude, we got full gear. And a bunch Sorry. of extra stuff now. And we're twinning now. Yeah, dude. Sick. <sighs> oh. Two guys on top of us. Oh, three, 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 three. Fully geared. Are they raiding or are, what uh, do you think? I think they just heard someone inside and they're like talking. Okay, uh, let's think about it. It's this. being upgraded right now. It's their base, dude. They're oh, making it's their it. Base? Yeah, yeah, they're making it. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, I, think, I think we gotta go all the way left if we can. Actually, let's, okay, let's go, let's go down a little bit. Uh, he's looking at me. Put the guy on the roof. One's going to hit three times. There's gonna be a guy. There's another one coming back. There are a lot of them. Catch that one. Catch that one on the roof. Hit him twice. Wait, that AK? Oh. Just be careful. Yep, naked behind me. I'm falling back. I'm falling back. They're all. There's like two on you and one on me. Two on me. Two on me. Two on me. Gonna tap. Two on me. Killed one. Killed one? Yeah. I'm going behind them. One's on your right. I body hit him twice and headshot him once. Oh, he's not dead. I killed him. Oh, he's full dead. He's full dead. Nice, nice. Good shit, Steve. I'm running back. I don't know if I killed the other AK guy. I don't think you did. I think there's another body here. You want to check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's running, hit him Wait, twice. No, this is two customs. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think there was an AK here. You get both the bodies? Yeah. I'm gonna get this guy's kill. I didn't get the other guy, but other guy's body. You got you got both the customs? Yeah, I got both customs. Though. Okay. This guy's not pushed. Oh, there's another guy on the, on the left, on the left, on the okay. left. I'm pushing. shot, I'm gonna shot. Falling back a little bit? I can't help you. There's two of them. You should not peek yet. Until oh, I didn't know where he was. I committed. I hit him once. One dead. You want to fall further? I'm dead. DB, DB. I'm full dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yo, I can't. I successfully came back. You successfully. You want to see the spoils? Oh, you have more. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, so you looted my body as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I looted. I yeah. legit just went to you, looted you, and got out, and I barely get out. <laughs> oh my dude, that's so much rude, son. You wanna go check those shots out? Oh, oh. Dude, that's like at our base. Yeah, yeah. I'm making meds here. Come. Oh, I'll, get, I, I'll oh, give them I, to you on the run. There's a Chinook. There's a Chinook at launch, by the way. I'm gonna go all the way around, Stevie. Oh, I'm pushing. I'm pushing from. I'm just holding right here until you get in position okay. to peek over the top. So I have cross fire angle on him. One guy's down, one rat suit SAR is down. Pushing to the left. One guy's in front Catch of out you. one. Hit him again. How's that guy not dead? I hit I'm him again. Down. There's two more here. Careful. Down this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that. Hit him. He's down. Right now. Okay. There's two more, I think, over here. 
Yeah, I think everyone's dead. I'm not too sure though. Just be careful. There's like a lot, dude. These places. There's a lot of bodies. What the? Oh, There's more there, bodies man. here. Did you loot all of them? Um. Oh my God! Come over here to this guy. I got another star. We, we have, have to time to depot. Right now? Yeah, yeah, here. Loot, loot that. Yeah, that guy's depot. python. Other stuff. Oh shoot. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll they're gonna be go coming back. back. Let's step. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. You good? Yeah, should be good now. That'll do his He's pushing up to the mound closest to you, holding your angle. Yeah. Headshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna shoot him from behind in a second. Oh, yo, there's, there's like a lot of them. Hold on. Headshot, body shot. Headshot him. Hit him again. Hit, Hit him, him again. Hit him again. There's Ziggin in the woods. I'm pushing. Okay. This dead body has... Oh, this dead body has HV rockets. I think okay. he had most of it. Uh, 64 explosive ammo. I'm coming with you. Killed though. one. Killed one. Nice. Dead. Nice. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Okay. Yeah. I can't heal. I can't heal up. Oh, sh no. No. I'm down. I'm down. There's one guy left. I'm coming right now. Hit him twice. I think they live right there too, just be careful. Oh, I'm getting shot from behind. I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm getting pinched. Like literally 180 degrees opposite. Uh, full killed one. Or, uh... Nice. Okay, okay, just, just stay alive. There are two on me. I'm, I'm gonna die. You can do it, I believe in you! Killed another. Killed another. Killed another twice. Oh my god, I'm in such a bad spot. I'm getting LR'd from behind. Hit another once. Hit again, he's down. Hit another one again. Oh, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. So I ran back naked to see if I could get any leftovers. Alright man, well it's fun. I'll probably get a start on a different server. I'll see you when you get back, man. Alright, peace. Peace, dude. So, with the outside obligations, I got off. And while h June and I did get back on together later, the footage got corrupted. However, overall, it was a great day. While we definitely weren't dominating the entire map, the south side of launch site was ours. And the solo adventure I'd been on was full of ups and downs, but was fun throughout. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this story, and I'll see you all on the next one.